Yep. <laughs> yeah, working. What? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you shitting me? <laughs> Where do you think I've been? No, I came and stole the truck last night for no reason. We're not out there, but we're in socks. <laughs> oh my god, are you sick me?
Does it work or not? I don't know if it will. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You're <laughs> video one? Yeah. <laughs> Mucho, mucho. 
I just need a glass of water, Chuck. Look at that. One happy family there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> move down that way. We're going to move down that way. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. All right, here's the water. Here's the tank. Right. Can you bring food? I'm going to check it. I'm checking. She like to sit at a certain table. I bet you wonder why they're running you way back here. Yeah. Yeah. to wish Micah a very happy ninth birthday. And we also want to let you know that we have a special birthday surprise for you, Micah.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Micah's dad, Technical Sergeant Micah Vickers, who has served more than 10 years in the United States Air Force and is currently serving a 15-month tour of duty overseas. Thank you for your service. Welcome home and happy birthday, Micah. reunion for a Minnesota soldier and the dog she rescued in Iraq. Their story touched people all around the world and today after months apart Army Specialist Gwen Beberg and her dog Ratchet are back together. Maggie Newland has their story from Fridley. It's a good story. A story of friendship forged in war, of separation and determination, of overcoming obstacles. A wonderful story. Hey Ratchet! The story of a soldier and her dog began on the battlefields of Baghdad and reached across the world. I got a letter from a woman in Italy who wrote to me and said how deeply it had touched her, the story of Ratchet. Come here, baby. Ratchet was rescued from a pit of burning trash on Mother's Day and became Army Specialist Gwen Bieberg's best friend in Iraq. He was like my own little personal comfort, you know, just fuzzy little love that I could go to any time that I felt down or lonely. Not only was he therapeutic for her, you know, she was his lifeline, so to speak. Gwen couldn't bear to part with Ratchet when she left Iraq, but sending him home became a battle in itself. People in charge would not let him leave. Twice, she says, the Army blocked her attempts to get Ratchet to Minnesota. But with the help of the SPCA and a website petition started by a friend, Ratchet's story gained international support. I thought it would get some attention. I didn't think it would get so much attention. And in October, on the third try, Ratchet made it to the United States to stay with Gwen's parents and wait for her. It's a great ending. And long after the camera lights stop flashing, they will simply be a woman and her dog back home in Minnesota. She's going back to school in September. She's already gotten accepted. Gwen wants to train Ratchet as a therapy dog. We'll go to schools, VAs, hospitals, anywhere where he can be of use to other people and spread his doggy love. It's just the next chapter. There's, there's good things ahead. Their story is far from over. Good boy. In Fridley, Maggie Newman. And finally tonight here, as you likely know, it is a tradition every New Year's, the Rose Parade and those beautiful floats. But today an image no one was expecting, not even a little boy who hadn't seen his father in nearly a year. Miriam Paz and her four-year-old son Eric had flown all the way back from Germany, back home to the States, to California. Mom and son living in Germany while dad is deployed to Afghanistan. They thought they'd won a contest to come home and the prize, a trip to the Rose Parade. What did you have to do to win? Uh, my husband just entered his name, I guess. I just got a call letting me know that we won. Uh, he is a soldier stationed in Afghanistan? Yes, he's in Afghanistan right now. Or so she thought. Her husband, Sergeant First Class Eric Paz, was right there at the parade, on the float, proudly wearing his uniform and making his way toward them. As mom and her four-year-old son were posing for a picture, they then turn around and that little four-year-old looks up, making his way over right into the arms of his father. It was a really great experience. I think the first thing I thought was, oh my Lord, I hope I hope she's not going to slap me for lying to her. And I, seeing our son's face, and, you know, how he reacted, and, you know, it, I was really caught up in the moment. A family together again, just in time for the new year. They hadn't seen each other in seven months.